I want to talk to you about a pair of pensioners who uh, have spent time in West London and have gained a little bit of a hero status after they filled up over 2,000 bags of rubbish in Ealing doing litter picks and collecting rubbish that they see. The two women have spent the last year cleaning and clearing up the streets of their borough. They even use uh, a fly tip pram to carry around the collected rubbish. Gail and Noel, who are in their 70s, started by clearing streets and parks. And now they have three routes that they go litter picking along each week. And I'm pleased to say they join me now. Good morning to you both. Uh, Gail, what made you decide to start doing litter picks? Well, I was doing 10,000 steps a day. I'm quite... uh keen on getting my fitness level up and um, when the weather gets bad my local park that I used to go round and round gets very muddy and I was walking the streets noticing the litter I thought oh this is dreadful and then I found Lager Can which is the litter action group for Ealing residents got my equipment and started picking up the litter as I was walking uh, Noel, have you been roped into this by Gail? Um, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> She's roped you into picking up the rubbish with her, eh? Um, Noel, I wanted to ask you: Have you seen more rubbish on the street? Do you think it's gotten worse than it was before? Is that why you wanted to help out with this? Yes, it is. We've been doing that for a year now, and. Uh, Sometimes I think we're encouraging them because we're cleaning the streets and then tomorrow it's the same thing again. Which is a bit disheartening for you, but yet you keep coming out, Noel. Every morning you're still there doing doing the litter run. Well, somebody has to do it and the two of us decided, you know, we'll stick to it. So we're doing it. Gail, how did you and Noel meet? Um... I'm into biodiversity, so is Ealing Council. Um, during lockdown, I started uh, planting up the tree pits in my street, and then I extended to the next street, and I planted outside Noel's house, and that's how we got to know each other. Uh, I started litter picking about a month before her, and then one day she just came up and introduced herself and said, you know, you've planted flowers outside my house. Can I join you doing this litter picking? What a lovely story. Noel. she planted flowers and your friendship blossomed. That sounds incredible. Yes, it did. She did put a note to my girlfriend to say, can you please um, water the front? And then I was watering it, and then she came up and introduced herself and... Now we've got lots of people who are thanking us, you know, daily. They stop to have chats with us. And, you know, sometimes we've never seen them before. And, um, you know, strangers coming up to me and saying, you know, what a nice thing you're doing, you know. What a lovely way to connect with people in your area as well. Uh, Gail, what's your plans? Are you going to just keep keep doing it? Keep, uh, and I imagine as as things get colder, are you still going to be out there? We equip ourselves with hand warmers and foot warmers that we put inside our shoes and big coats and hats with our high-vis vests on and off we go. And then we we do stop sometimes when it gets very, very cold at the Mm. local cafe and get a drink to, to warm us up. But can I say that we're... Not the only ones doing this in Ealing. We, we've had the publicity, but there are actually 2,000 members of Lager Kang across Ealing, all doing the same fantastic job. For instance, this month, well, October alone, all the volunteers in the group, we've collected approximately 3,000 bags of litter, and we've put in, again, about approximately 17,000 volunteer hours. Wow. And we're not all old. There's young people doing it. Everyone's getting involved. Just wish the litter droppers would become more aware. Because Noel said we're doing the same routes week after week after week. Mm. And it gets no better. 
the worst thing. Uh, not only is it litter, it's fly tipping. Mm. Yeah. It is, you know, you go out and you see a mattress dumped a few doors down from where you lived. We go to the parks and people think it's okay to leave their rubbish at the park bins. You know, I've knocked on people's doors when I found out that they've left their garden furniture next to the bin. Mm. And I've said, do you realise that this is fly tipping? And, um, you know, it's a findable offence and people aren't aware. I don't know what's happened. Well, you're doing a remarkable job. So I'm sure everyone in Ealing would we'll, we'll, we'll thank you for that and it's absolutely wonderful what you're doing Gail thank you so much for joining me this morning thank you Noel. thank you to you too it's been lovely chatting to you thank you thank you for just chatting to us that's uh, Noel and Gail who are two pensioners in Ealing who are just doing the Lord's work and picking the rubbish up pick your crisp packets up do not litter folks I cannot say this enough